All right, today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Gator Jigsaw X Chocolate Habanero. All right, so this is obviously a cross between those two peppers. Got this for Pepper Ranger. This is one of the ones that is still good in the box. I mean, they're all still good, but this one's not as soft. <clears throat> so I'm glad this was included because I had seeds from this, from him. Um, but I grew them out and they open pollinated. Oh, I don't know if they open pollinated because it was pretty unstable. But I got like some orange looking pepper and I ended up, I didn't get around to eating it. So but I still have the plant. So if it gives me another one, then cool. I'll try it out. But for now, <clears throat> I'm going to be reviewing this one. And it's pretty big. So I don't know if I'll eat the whole thing. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like on the inside. Because if it's got moldy seeds or something, then you won't even be seeing this video but <clears throat> so this came about I'm not going to go into the whole history if you want to hear all that then go watch Pepper Ranger's review but the basic the he goes into the history of the Gator Jigsaw I'm not going to do that basically he had seeds that he gave from a Gator Jigsaw pod to uh, Heckle in the PLC discord and Heckle just dis discovered hey I think uh, it crossed with your chocolate habanero so it seems to be a common theme that happens in gardens when you get your bees doing their thing but <clears throat> ultimately it's an accidental cross uh, with a gator jigsaw i believe is the the mother plant and then the chocolate habanero that he overwintered somehow got cross pollinated so you get a couple different phenos i've seen chocolate habanero looking phenos i've seen these gator jigsaw phenos I've tried it, it's delicious pepper, but when I tried it, it was a F2. This should be like F3 or 4, um, and I didn't review it. I had just tried it while I was eating, and it was, it was delicious. So hopefully this applies to this pepper. So I'm going to cut it open, and we'll go from there. Whoa. Oh, man. I, I, <laughs> I just smelled this, and it just made me shiver. Look at that. My gosh. Look at that oil in there atrocious absolutely atrocious I ain't eating this whole thing well maybe I will but not on one bite I'll throw it up there's just too much pepper I think this uh, I think batch bacon has the same problem like you eat just a whole pod there's something about it whether you like it or not whether you can take the heat or not your body just wants to reject it but this is the Gator Jigsaw X slash cross with a taco habanero <clears throat> wish I had a drink um I ate that half and I didn't think to save the seeds so I'm gonna save the seeds from the other half I'm not gonna even eat the other half because if my stomach's okay I'm just gonna take a nap it's a pretty day, but I've been dealing with this garden. It's been getting on my nerves. <laughs> Surface of the tongue and a back of the throat burn. Now the flavor up front really, uh, I want to say sweet. It had a sweetness to it and then pretty fruity floral aftertaste so it was real brief I think I can work through the hiccups here uh, I got that I had to get that chunk out oh man Hiccups, watery eyes. Man, that half is the size of a normal pepper. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have seen gator jigsaws, but they're massive. <laughs> That's enough to get the flavor though. I'm not <gasps> I'm not trying to eat the whole thing. The whole thing today. But man, yeah, I've been dealing with white fly on my guard. It's just one thing after another. <laughs> Thrips. Aphids. 
stink bugs, white flies. I mean, I killed, I killed them and I took care of it, but it's still a, it's still a nuisance. Uh, it's a pretty good burn. I love that pepper so much. That's one of my favorite, one of my favorite chocolate peppers. It has minimal floral, which is what I always used to, what I always used to look for in chocolates. It was like little to no floral. And then it has a nice burn, but it's a sting because it's got the habanero in it, and they just sting. And then <sighs> mouth and throat burn heats like a six, nothing super crazy, but in my stomach is like an eight. So if I ate that at the half, I just throw, I would just throw it up, and I'm not wasting my lunch. <laughs> So, I'm pretty confident I can keep a half down though, <laughs> but it gives you hiccups. You did, this is a good pepper. But anyway, <clears throat> Gator Jigsaw cross with a habanero. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. He said he had a Gator Jigsaw plant and he had a chocolate habanero, habanero plant. I and mean, then he got the seeds from the pot, either gave Heckle seeds or he gave, I'm pretty sure he gave him seeds because he was trying to give him Gator Jigsaw seeds because he ended up getting them from somebody because he wanted Lemon Star KSLS seeds and then he ended up growing out the gator and then yada yada, you know, it ended up crossing and he's like, hey Heckle, I'll give you some seeds or whatever or maybe they traded, I don't know. And then when Heckle grew it out and discovered, hey, um, what would you grow that next to because it doesn't look like a gator it looks something something else chocolate and then they you know been sharing seeds and been working to stabilize it and I think there's a couple different Vinos uh, out there in the PLC discord <clears throat> I don't know which one I like better <clears throat> honestly that tastes very similar if not I'd say it's very so okay the, the flavor is very similar to the one I had last time now the one I had last time had the chocolate habanero shape and I think the walls were thicker so I kind of like I kind of like that better like I like thicker walls like the crunchiness but also to take into account this has been sitting in my fridge for a while it's a big pod but the, the walls are like medium like see the walls they're like kind of medium so it's not too bad I'm gonna save those seeds and do whatever I don't know throw the pepper away, throw it in a sauce. I don't even know if I have ingredients for a sauce. I might. I need to make, make a sauce. I haven't made one in a minute. But yeah, that's a really good burn. Really good flavor. It's got pretty much everything you want in the chocolate. The earthiness, the smoky flavors are in there. Not like, you know, it's not the first thing you taste, but there's hints of it. You have sweetness, fruitiness, um, no bitterness. The floral aftertaste I got was only when I swallowed it and it was brief and it went away. <clears throat> so, I think that's all I gotta say. I just really love that pepper. It's, I'm trying to think of my favorite chocolate pepper, but every time I try and think of my favorite chocolate, this is the one that pops into my head. I don't, I don't remember if I have another one. Chocolate Ghost is another really good one. Um, That might be it. That's all I can think of. It's all I can think of at the moment. Probably. I could have swore there was another one. I don't know. I'm sure if there's on my channel and you look at the chocolate reviews, I've probably said something was my favorite one. But that's if that's at least top top two. You know, that's, if that's not the favorite, it's the second favorite. But if you can manage somehow to get seeds from that. The only way I think you're going to be able to do it is through PLC because this is not like a widely propagated or sold pepper cross. But join PLC, participate, you know. You can't just go in there and start DMing people for free stuff. It doesn't work that way. Um, once you're like a member of the community, people will share their crosses with you. You share your crosses with them. You share rare ones with it. It's, it's a tit for tat system. You got to kind of give and take. So yeah that was really good burns already gone um 
like I said, my stomach's kind of warm. But it <laughs> be pointless to chew it up and spit it out. But I'm going to just go ahead and get the seeds from it and call it. <clears throat> so thank you for watching. That was a Gator Jigsaw crossed with a Chocolate Habanero.